I guess, whoa, shit. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon my language. All right, I was ready to go into this cave. Let's go see what's in this cave. Like I said, I don't think we're gonna be able to get anywhere because we need the lantern. But that's okay. We're positive. We're optimistic on this run. Yeah. Yep. Wait. How do I... Ugh. There we go. So that's going to be a no-go. So it's sounding like we're going to have to go and jump into the Lost Woods here. I think that's going to be where we're going to want to go. Because, yeah, with that fire rod we'll be set. But we need to get more magic power. Or powder. Oh, I can go... I guess I can go talk to the witch. And that would do the trick. If you die, do you keep all your magic powder? Yeah, I think you do. Am I even in the right spot? Gosh, I'm nowhere near the right area. Turn around. It's gonna be a long walk. <laughs> So, yeah, those waffles were delicious, though. Like these big old Belgian waffles. We are so far away. Uh, there's... Why... They... Ugh, why don't they have, like, a, a flight path into, um... To the village? I don't know. Or do they? Did they? I don't think so. Whatever. So, let's go talk to the witch, or the shop, the witch shop lady person. Talk to them, and we'll see what's going on. Ow. Ow. Sir, I'd like to inform you that swords hurt. Maybe you should consider that before you freaking attack me. Oh, we can go in here. Get. Ah! Okay, that was great. There. Oh look, more bombs. Yay. Is there anything in here? Is it just like hearts or fairies or something? Oh, whatever. I'll take a fairy. That sounds fine. <laughs> so are you like the puberty fairy or what the fuck did you just call me? Hormone monster, damn it. Don't poke me. Don't poke me. Ah! Oh, come on. Great. Well, we're just gonna have to bite this bullet. <laughs> well, we made it, somehow. I don't know how. Yeah. No, give me- oh, shoot. I must have to break down and buy it. What? Oh, I don't have a bottle either. I can't even buy the potions. <laughs> uh, whatever. We out. There is one in the village. Okay, good. I don't know why I was thinking there wasn't. Oh, I was thinking because you can't respawn in the village. So what did this guy give us again? Dude, you already have- okay, fine. Oh, uh, I might be able to do something. Let's go to the, let's go to the woods first. And then we'll come back and we'll try the thing I was thinking of. But yeah, we need to get some of these, uh, some, some magic powder. Is this dark world stuff? Yeah. Which does me no good. Is there anything that I can, well, might as well give it a shot. I can still pick stuff up, right? Oh shit, I can't even pick stuff up! Great. <laughs> Off to a good start here. So we're going back to Fox's house. And then... Yeah, I don't even know where to get more magic power at. Like, this is... 
This is ridiculous. Like, even if we get to that part in the woods, if I don't have magic powder, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do to get in there. I said we'll try it. Oh, that's just went. We'll try it though. We'll see what we can do. Dude, no, no. Okay, well, this is the way we're gonna do this today. You never saw that coming, did you? Consider it a sign. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> ah, I don't know. <laughs> so the idea is, yeah, we're gonna go bust in to the magic woods ass and just start like, we're gonna get to that, that dungeon and then if you use the magic power, that actually might be only in the dark world maybe? It is in the dark world! Shoot, dude, you have got to get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah, the lost woods are just gonna have the sword. Well, if we had the lantern, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, come on. Give me something else, the love of God. Let's see. I can't believe it. It's just bombs. Over and over. Over and over. Well, how about up here? What's this? Uh, okay. I'm lucky. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Okay. I'm not so lucky. That was dumb. I'm gonna die again. Oh, if I can make it to the lumberjack's house in time. Come on. No, no! Why are you blocking my way? Oh my god, I got one hit left and then we're dead. <laughs> oh, we made it. Frostbite's just like petrifying all of my limbs here. It's not so great. Go back and suck out these hearts again some more though. Yeah, yeah. You can never have enough disembodied hearts, it seems like. Merry Christmas to all Frostbite. I wish you guys would cut your damn tree down so I could jump in there. <sighs> Let's think about this. So yeah, if we go to the Dark World... Well, okay, let's go back up to Death Mountain again. There might be something worth up there yet. It's just, I have to... It just sucks, because yeah, you have to go through that uh, that little dark area. And if they, again, if they assume that you can go, if they assume you can go through there without the lantern, then it's like, they would probably assume you can go through the first dungeon palace without the lantern too, which I really do not see happening. I mean, I could. Technically I can. Or wait, no, I can just walk up the stairs. I'm in the same spot anyway, I don't need to do that. Okay, 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 we're good. I forgot that you can just walk up there. It's so much easier to take the, the cave instead. But I'm gonna die. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna not die. We're gonna we're gonna die. You can't see it, but I'm I'm giving my computer here the evil eye. So here's what my just random rambling was, my thought, my train of thought, is that I was thinking if it assumes that you're going to be able to get through that cave part to get to the, whatever, the um, Tower of Hera, the Tower of Hera, the tower up there, without the lantern, it's probably going to assume that you can get through the, the first palace without it too, which would be a problem, because I don't know that I can. Um... I guess I could. I could look up a map, like a screenshot, and just try and kind of blindly eyeball it, but I'd rather not. But if, since you can walk up this way, it probably assumes that you you have to get the lantern somewhere else, which would be good. So 
I have that cave up here I guess I can go to. Oh. What the hell is this? This goes back. Cave away from sky cabbages. Yeah. So we could explore that one too, but that brings us back over to the lumberjack's place. So I'm gonna check out these other caves that are a little bit accessible first. And then we'll jump to that one, and then we'll jump to the one that brings us all the way back. And we're not going there. Well, wait, I can fall down there though, right? And be okay? I think so. So at this point, you wouldn't have the mirror. So, yeah, let's go and check this out quick. Wait, yeah you would, because the old man gives you the mirror. What am I talking about? Aw, oh, shit, now I'm back over here again. <laughs> I didn't even register in my head that may be the case, but that's okay, because we got the fairies now. It's maddening. But that's why it's a randomizer, baby. I wish I had some more fun things to say, but they're really- I'm- I'm- I don't know, I'm just too concentrated on trying to figure out where the heck else some other chests would be. Because there's- if you look at it, there's so many places you can get items in this game. And I- I mean, I played it as a kid a bunch, but I didn't play it a lot, a lot. It was mostly I played the first half because I couldn't get past the Dark World or whatever. I guess I was going to say that too, is it's so funny because this was the game I got with my, my Super Nintendo, right? It came packaged with it, and I never really played a Zelda before. Oh, please, 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 please be the lantern, please be the lantern, please- No! leave here again, right? Or I have to go up the stairs. Whatever. So I got this game with my Super Nintendo. And I was pretty young. And I just... I didn't know anything about the game and I assumed that once you got the three, the three pendants that that was the end of the game. You get the Master Sword and you go fight Ganon or uh, was it Ag... Agham or whatever? Ag Agham. And that was the end. So like... I spent forever, oh hell, I spent forever trying to get past like the, whatever, like the dark world, was it the dark world? No, it wasn't. Hang on, I'm telling this out of, out of, con or out of uh, order. What I did, this was dark, right? Oh, hi. So I spent forever playing just that part of the game, and then finally I beat it, and I'm like, all right, that was a great game. And then it's like, now go capture the, or recapture the Seven Maidens, and like, ah, like, I don't think my jaw could have dropped any further. I was blown away. But then I spent forever trying to figure out how to get up to the frickin' Tower of Hera in the Dark World. That's what I was trying to say. And so, like, I'm really familiar and nostalgic for, like, the first part of this game before you get up there, because I spent so much time wandering around trying to do anything with it. So the Dark World is really cool, I like all that stuff too, but it's just like that first part is just huge to me because, yeah, I spent, I don't know, weeks, months probably trying to figure that part out, it was funny. It's funny when I look back on it now. And then I think it was, uh, I actually called into the Nintendo Power, or the Nintendo Line, to try and uh, get some help. And then when I did that, as I was on, I mean, like, I was at the end of my rope, and my mom was like, yeah, you can use the the 900 number this one time, that's fine, to figure it out, because I've been playing it. I had my TV hooked up uh, in the living room, and then I had it, like, in this little sitting area outside the kitchen, so mom, like, saw me playing it there all the time, and I was trying to do it. And I think that was pretty early when I was playing uh, Donkey Kong Country, too, was in that same spot. And so she's like, all right, you can call this one time, and I did. Fish, fish, come back here. Oh, this is bad. Is the fish still there? No, of course not. I'm gonna get killed. But, uh, I called, and then while I was on the phone, I figured out how to do it. I figured out that, y you know, where the... the overlap is that you can kind of, like, walk around on and get up to the, the top part of the... What is it, Mount Doom, or... Is it Mount Doom in this one? 
Turtle Rock. Turtle Rock is to the east, so that's not it. But that kind of an idea, so... That was kind of funny. The one time I ever called a 1-900 number was to try and get help with this game. And then I figured it out after, or as I called them. It's the end of my rope. So that was kind of funny. But I was so disappointed. Like, I really, really, really wanted Mario World. That was the game I really wanted. And I didn't tell them that. I just... For some reason, I got my Super Nintendo late. I don't know why I didn't ask for it earlier. I think it's because I was, like, asking for Legos or something instead. But, uh... I f my mom asked me. I remember it. I was, like... I was in the kitchen. I was looking up at her. And she was just like, Hey, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, I want a Super Nintendo! I want a Super Nintendo! Because I've been playing my buddy's Super Nintendos that whole time. A couple of them had it. Like, a couple of my best friends had Super Nintendo. And I played it at their place all the time, and I just wanted one so bad. <laughs> and I'm like, I want Super Nintendo. But I never said, I want Mario World with my Super Nintendo. And so by that time, it was late in the Super Nintendo's lifespan. And so they were packing them all with Link to the Past. And so I got it, and I was like, yes, Mario, Mario! What the hell is this? This isn't Super Mario World! But I'm like, well, I'll give it a chance. And luckily, I was blown away. Like, it, I had to warm up to it a little bit, but I was blown away by the music and just the overall majesty of going from an NES to a Super Nintendo of my very own, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So that was a really, really great memory. <laughs> it was so cool. And the TV I hooked it up to was this giant one from, like, the 60s where it's, it's like, furniture, you know? It was, it was huge. It was on wheels. Give me a bottle. No, uh, oh, magic, magic works. Man, I'll take magic. I got that magic. So yeah, I hooked up this giant ass TV we got from my grandma that's like, I don't know the size, look at my mini fridge. The TV is probably like the size of two of those or three stacked together. It's just <laughs> huge. And so I played it on there the first night and then I think I got my own, my dad gave me his old TV later on, which was our old family TV. I think it was a 27 inch, which was huge because the biggest TV at the time was like a 36 inch. Not the biggest one, but the biggest affordable one that unless you were like all in on TVs was like a 36 inch. So to have a 27 inch of my own was a pretty big deal. I had the nice wood grain, authentic fake wood grain on the side and everything. It was. It was beautiful. I love my Super Nintendo. I still love my Super Nintendo to this day. The only reason I don't play it is because now I have the Super Nintendo Classic, and I play that. But uh, I have... It's probably my biggest library, I think. It's probably my Super Nintendo games, actually. So, gosh, where else can I go? I just need the Lantern of the Mirror, I think, is what we need here. Yeah. Um... So let's, let's talk about this. So the woods in the Northwest, I was thinking that's where that uh, dungeon's at, but it's not because that's in the dark world. So we can't go there. And I'm pretty sure I got all the chests up there or most of them. I think I cleaned out the town. I don't think there's anything there in the light world anymore. Even to the South, we won the, uh, the hedge maze. And then um, Link's house, there's nothing over here. The castle. I want to say there's, I mean, there's got to be a key in there somewhere, but I don't know where it's at, so we might be able to try that. Sanctuary up to the north, the graveyard, I think that's, it feels like there's more to it, but I think that's cleaned out. Because there's that, if we go into the dark world and come back, there's that little spot up above, which would be fine. To the east, we got Zora stuff. To the northeast, we got Zora stuff. To the, to the east, we need to go into the palace, but I can't. And I went through the caves over there and to the southeast. That might be. I haven't explored all of the southeast yet, so we can go try and check out this part a little bit. But I don't know. We were kind of moving around here already, so I don't know what else is left. Because, yeah, we went to the waterfall. We got that. I don't think there's a cave here because there's no. Like, secret thing. No. Man, where else can I go? I don't know. 
We're just gonna wander around, I guess. I don't want to go look at the spoiler sheet yet, because you get when you do this, you get like a little spoiler sheet um, to tell you where everything is at. But yeah, I'm just wondering if they expect me to go in there without the lantern. You know? Because I, I need the moon pearl if I'm going to go to the dark world, or the mirror. One of those two, and I... Oh, we there's a spot to the right over here, right? Yeah, there's a secret area. Blow that up. Oh, alright, okay. Oh, we can buy the extra bomb stuff now. These are just fairies. There's, well, there is a cave, uh, there's another cave in the, the desert, but I think you need, um, I think you need to go through the dark world to get to it, so that's gonna probably be out again. Uh, 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 oh, um, I'm gonna try something. Not expecting a lot, but we'll see. No, it's right, because now I'm going to be in here. No, this isn't going to work. Because I can't... I can't do anything. Shoot. Uh, Alright, well, when we come back, I'll try and figure out some more stuff. Because otherwise, I don't know.